Hey guys, and this video, I'm going to be breaking down the Simulator Lois 213 promo. If you enjoyed the video, hit that down below. Subscribe for new notifications on. Let's watch this promo and continue with the video. You can do things other people can't do. I can keep her safe. Not even Superman can keep everyone safe. I feel like everyone hates me. I don't have a future. I want to protect you from everything. But I have to learn to let you make your own mistakes. So what you guys saw right there was the Superman Lois 213 promo, we're going to be breaking it down, so let's get right into it. So it opened up with Clark telling Jordan that he has, he can do things other people can't, like Superman can, you know, and all these other people. Like, he can do those things, normal people obviously can't do that. So I think this episode we're really going to be zoning in again <laughs> with uh, Clark training Jordan, or he's on some level... Teaching him more about using his powers or responsibly how to use them. Then we go to Jordan saying to Lana, I'm assuming Lana, that um, he can protect Sarah. Because he's been hell bent on telling her that he has powers and that's why he's been missing and all that. Or disappearing every now and then, which is why they broke up from the, from the get-go. Um, and obviously no one's for it. So, you know, <laughs> um, which I don't know how I feel about that. But Lana is saying that Superman can't save everyone at once, which, again, is arguable because, well, not really arguable on that statement, but Jordan isn't Superman. He's not. Does he help him every now and then? He could if he learned his powers correctly. But to say that comparing him to Superman... Clark is in the field 24-7, and he still manages to save millions of lives a day. I mean, he still does that. While being Clark Kent, while taking care of his family, Jordan is not in the field 24-7 like Clark is. And he's not dealing with all the world problems like Clark is. He doesn't carry the weight of the world on his shoulders like Clark. And Jordan does. Or doesn't. I mean, Jordan doesn't. So to compare him... To what Superman does is bullcrap. And again, after 2.12, <laughs> I really didn't like that line of stuff. Uh, for the first, easily the worst episode of the show was 2.12. And, I mean, looking back, I think parts of it were the break and parts of it were just the writing. It wasn't good. So, I really hope this episode picks it up because from that promo, I, I don't know. <laughs> there were parts I did like, there were parts I didn't. That Lana part I did not like. <laughs> and I, I love Lana on the show. I love Sarah. I love all the characters in the show. So when I say I didn't like something about a certain character, that has to say something to you. It really should. Because that is... That's not good <laughs> for me, at least, um, if I'm saying that. But, nonetheless. Um, then we go to Jonathan saying that uh, no one likes him anymore. And that, and then we go to Clark saying that he, he has to step back and let him deal with his own problems. Because he can't, he's not going to be there every time. He can't. Even if he was a Superman, as a parent, you have to let your child grow up and deal with problems on your own. That's what you do as a parent. So, and I'm, I'm not a parent, so I can't really <laughs> relate to that. But I know enough about parenting to the point where I know that you need to let your child grow up and do things on their own. So they become an adult and become more mature as they continue growing in their life. Because they're going to get into problems like Jonathan did with the drugs. Clark and Lois bailing him out of that. Well, it, well not really bailing, but you know what I mean. Like the punishment being less because of them. It, that's not really going to help anything in the future. So now they're dealing with the backlash and Jonathan has to pick that up. And that's not really on Clark and Lois, that's on Jonathan. It should have been from the get-go, but Clark and Lois picked it up and here we are. So I'm glad, I would hope they're stepping back. Um, and I'm, I'm not surprised everyone hates Jonathan, because frankly, who won it at that point? But <laughs> I'm assuming he's talking about everyone in school. But yeah, now in 2.12 we learned that Nat was making a suit for Jonathan. Um, we did get a promo image of Nat with the suit, like, fully built and is not size. Like, it's not, like, iron, or, uh, it's not John Henry's size. Um, so, and by size, I mean, like, length. 
like tall, short. It's more like Nat's uh, size. So, I mean, Jonathan could go on that, but in the comics, Nat did get her own suit, and it was a steel suit, just adjusted to fit Nat. I don't think John will be okay with that from the get-go, but I'm pretty sure we're getting Nat either A, suiting up, or B, the suit will be completed this episode. I wouldn't be surprised. Now, again, just so everyone knows, <laughs> um, as of right now, unless I was misinformed, there are 15 episodes this season. Episode 13 is airing tomorrow at the point in time you're recording this, because I, I do promo breakdowns before the episode airs Simon Lois. On June 14th, Simon Lois is not on. So we're getting, yet again, a week's worth long break. Which, I don't know, because I'm already not interested right now. I'm really not. 212, I was not interested at all. 213, we're going to see where it goes. But if they want... Even though it's just a week, Flash is on that week. So, we're going to be dealing with... It's, and again, it's a point where if you watch both these shows, not supposed to come in from a content creator point of view, but also a f viewer point of view, at least for me, um, I'm not really going to give a crap when the fan finale rolls up two weeks after, on the 28th. I mean, I'm going to watch it, I can't promise I'm going to give a crap, though. <laughs> this season got so screwed over because of breaks. I had no problems with the breaks until last week when I had zero interest. I've never had zero interest in this show till last week. And it's because of the enormous break that we had when the, when the season was, like, kicking up in the finale-type era and it just got blown up in this, like, billion pieces. And now we're getting another break on the 14th. Because there's 15 episodes, 13's airing this week, 14, we know for sure, is airing the 21st, and 15 is airing the 28th. So, <laughs> I mean, you can't really say that, you know, it, it just, it, there's no way that um, there won't be a break on June 14th. Unless I've been misinformed, which I'm pretty sure I haven't, because the promo even said there were three episodes left. 13, 14, and 15. And I just tried looking at information, I couldn't really find anything else besides 15 episodes a season. And we're coming up on 13 again, June 14th, there's going to be another break. I really, if 213 doesn't do well, because I know a lot of people did not care for 212. It wasn't just me. It was majority of Samuel Lois community, the fan base, that did not care. And it's bad for this show. I, this show got picked up for a third season. Great. But I think we're all worried right now. How the hell is that season going to play out? Because if they keep having these month-long breaks, um, that show might not be picked up. <laughs> I, I don't want to say that. But really, uh, you can't tell me a show that needs this many breaks in one season, right? Can't be, for whatever reason, extended or pushed back. Definitely not extended. I meant pushed back and extend in dates before the premiere. To make it so we don't have month-long breaks when the season's getting good. Like, I barely remember what happened in 211. I still don't. <laughs> And 212, while it was like a recap, it was pretty pointless because nothing was covered in the episode besides the alley thing, which even then, it was like, what the hell is this? The Lana thing was bullcrap. I think we can all agree on that. Hating Lois, which is ridiculously stupid. Like, majority of the episode was pointless. It, it was literally a filler flash episode, but worse. It was like, it's just so bad. Like... And I hate saying that about this show because it's so good. But I think we can all agree this episode was horrible. So if 213 really does not do well, uh, that one week we're having this show, that can be the tiebreaker for are we coming back for the finale or not. I think you've been watching this show since, for the this season, I mean, since the premiere or halfway through. 
you're more than likely going to finish out this season, because why wouldn't you? It's, you know, you would want to. Unless you're really not that interested, I get it. I'm going to. I'm still going to do reviews over 13, 14, and 15, which is finale. But it's going to be really hard to watch. Because I have a really bad feeling about 213. And generally when I say that, I'm generally right. <laughs> At least for me. I was Because I called it Flash A16 was going to be horrible. And to me, I was right, even though somehow people really liked it. I don't get how. I mean, there were good things in it, but it was easily the worst episode of that season. Nonetheless, <laughs> whenever I have that feeling, it generally sticks. And I generally get it from a promo. If the promo does well, the episode does well. The promo, it was good, but it wasn't a standard Simon Lewis promo to me. It felt like a... You know, I don't even know what it felt like. It definitely did not feel like the hype that we have in the promo. We've already gotten Clark telling Jordan all these things. We've already gotten Jonathan beating himself up throughout the entire season, the drug thing. Now we have Lana butting Jordan's head off. Like, no, it, it, just move on. It's too many lows. I get there's going to be family drama and that, like, you know, flashes, but... You need to draw a line somewhere. Like, it's called Superman and Lois, not Clark's family, Clark's drama, Lois's drama, Lois's family. It's Superman and Lois, and we barely got really any Superman last week besides the moment where he, or any fights, and I mean, even that fight scene wasn't really that good. <laughs> so, 213 needs to be a comeback, otherwise it's going to be bad. <laughs> and... I think season three, if they don't have that many breaks, can redeem itself. But it is really, truly going to be in question. Will this show get a fourth season? Especially, 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 especially if they get in all these month-long breaks in season three. Because I'm telling you right now, if that happens, I am most definitely going to quit watching. And I'm sure a lot of people will. Because there's no way... I'm going to sit through a month-long break, and they expecting us to come back after a month to remember what happened, and then to sit there and act like we love this show, even though we do, the episode was horrible, and we have to pretend that it wasn't. I'm not doing that. I don't care if you're going to call me a non-fan of the show. I've made clear I love this show. I haven't hated a single episode of this show besides 212. <laughs> Because of the month-long break. And if season three has that, I'm sorry, but the show's pretty screwed. And, I mean, Mark Pytowicz keeps up to date with how the community looks at these shows. Legends, Batwoman, Flash, Samuel Lois, Stargirl, uh, Gotham Knights. Even though they haven't done anything for it, even though no one wants it to happen. Um, I guess they're trying to give it a chance. But Naomi, I mean, those shows, they look at the community response. And so, 212... Did not have a great response. And I'm sure Todd and all the cats saw that. But especially Bitsy. I mean, she's on Twitter all the time. Looking at that. Especially when the show's on. So, I bet they had a conversation about all that. You know, for season three. Are we having this many breaks? And they know we're annoyed of it. Todd literally said, we know you're sick of it. But to make the show the level it is, we need those breaks. Then take more time. Don't put a season when you know you're going to have breaks. I don't care if it's production. Push it back. CW has all these free time slots. If it's supposed to be lined up with The Flash, which it is, then premiere your season later so it lines up with The Flashes. Don't make it premiere in general whenever the hell it did. And then make us sit through a month long break and expect us to come back all sunshine and rainbows and have any problems with the episode. That is ridiculous. And so, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just want to talk about that because it really does worry me a little bit about the future of this show. I love Superman. I love the character. I love Tyler. I love Bitsy. I love all the cast and Superman and Lois. I don't really care for Todd helping. I don't think he's a great showrunner, but nonetheless, you know, I think Flash proved that after season two because <laughs> he's a showrunner on Flash from season one to five, and we all saw how three through five turned out. 
But, <laughs> um, nonetheless, um, I mean, he is doing good on the show, besides all these breaks. Now, whether that's the showrunner or producers or whatever, someone on that staff is making all these breaks happen. It's due to production, and they need to change that in season three, period. I think we can all agree on that. I think that it needs to happen. I think we can all agree on that as well. And for the show to keep on going for years and years to come, and for the Elvers to keep on going, I think they need to dial back on these breaks. Because coming from a viewer point of view, a content creator point of view, and a fan point of view, they need to stop these breaks. Because really, this show will be on the chopping block with the amount of people that will quit watching this show because of all these breaks. It's going to be at a point where you're like, what the hell is happening? You can't really have done a show like this. You can't have these month-long breaks and ask yourself the question watching the episode, what the hell is happening? You shouldn't be asking yourself that. And I was asking myself that a lot in 212. Why is this here? Why didn't they bring this up earlier? It should have been brought up earlier in the season. You know, I'm not interested at all. It's just repeating a bunch of crap. 213 looks the same way. I shouldn't be saying that. But because it's true, here I am. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you guys for watching the video. Have a good day. Have a good night. Stay safe. Hit the like button, double subscribe for new notifications on. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.